in this week's vlog, we have this S3 in for what was a single stage, but upgrades to an enhancement due to body shop stuff. And you can watch the defects and machining and how we remove those in this vlog. Plus, I was unwell. So you get to see the patchy lifestyle that becomes trying to get this car complete when you're down on the team. And you can check all that out in this vlog straight after this. Hey there guys, I'm Alan and welcome to AM Details YouTube channel where we do detailing and car care related videos. If that's something you're interested in, then smash that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you don't miss anything. Good morning. It's Monday the 3rd of April. Jamie is already in. We are getting ready for what we know is going to be Manic Monday. And this week we start the week with a Audi S3. It's in a nice red, I think. Coming in for single stage CS Black total surface. We'll see if that needs any upgrades or any uh, bolt-ons there. We're also in big meetings tomorrow about some new projects here. Ballot at the start of the week. Valet on the Thursday, and that is it. Well, we say that's all that's happening this week. You know what it's like. Just grab some boxes from our off-site storage. We've now got to make these up as we've still got more of this order to do. So the gents are cracking on with that. Until the Audi arrives, I am gonna go through your messages and emails. Main emails and messages done. And I'm now working on the freebie Friday. What's really cool is the person this month one the one-to-one -one chats with me on Skype or some video call or something like that. So they're obviously wanting to look and develop in their business or their detailing or some knowledge or just want some one-to-one -one action with me. And with all the shares, retweets and reposts on Instagram, there was eight other prizes. And I've just got the emails back from the people. So we're just gonna get their addresses banged into the system and get their goodies out to them. Time is now half past 12. I've just got back from Uptown. Quick haircut, dropped the customer up there who's just dropped off the S3. I'll take it outside to see that in a minute. It's really, really nice, but we've just had to upgrade it to enhancement. I'll show you Ryan in a minute. But have a look at this. I wish I could show you this at the same time as my face, guys. But I just want you to know how much we super appreciate this. This is insane. The amount of orders that are coming through in the system now. Thank you so, so much, guys, for supporting the AM Details community. I mean, how nuts is that? Right, let's take you into the bay. Where you can see Scott is drying the car outside. The reason he's drying the car outside is we have this large autosave order, which is coming to all you guys soon. We've just got half of it to do. I'll go and serve them customers. I'll see you guys in a minute. The Audi is inside. It's time to loosen the wheel nuts, get it on the ramp, up and inspect, show you guys what's going on with the paintwork. It's in there, we've had a look around. Do you want to come and see why we had to upgrade it to enhancement? Let's go have a look. So we start at the front arch. Not bad. Normal wash mar in, you can see the nice flake in there. Superb. This might look bad guys, but it is just wash mar in. It's not until you come down here, you can start to see it come in. This light hazingly gray. This is overspray. On that whole arch to this end. And I think it's up here in the door as well. Yeah. So you can see the swirls, but if you guys look, there's a gray haze and then almost a little bit of spotting. That's overspray. I'll go in now and see if I can get you a better picture. Okay, I had to switch the manual focus, but now you can see the overspray. So the swirls here, yeah, but this greyness is overspraying. You'll see the tape line in just a minute, guys. You ready? Down we go. There it is. So there's normal swirling on normal paint. And there is the tape line to the overspray. The rest of the door is normal swirling until we get about here. And someone's had a little play here near the handle. This rear quarter section is not bad. Just swirls, guys. But then we hit the rear bumper. This has definitely been sprayed and or repaired. You see all the DA sanding and it is everywhere on this bumper. Gonna be a bit of work involved in that one. This side is just the same. Trying to speed this up for y'all now. And then a normal-ish rear quarter. You can see where they've tried to blend it in here and then you come down here and it's just normal swirling and marring. 
The door is just normal, swirling and marring. Until we get to the front again. Boom, there we go. Got some overspray. And then onto the arch, guys. Watch Scott do the little step, there he is. Boom, and there's the overspray and the front arch. And then it comes back. See that? It's like a perfect gap. Overspray, paint, overspray. It's even on the alloys. See that, guys? So we have to give these a little polish up as well when they're off. Last but not least is the bonnet. Full of DA sanding at that side, and then we've just got buffer trail on this side. But once the car is down and later on in the vlog, you'll get to have a look at it. But that is how we look at the first 15 minute survey of the car. Time is now quarter to three. And I know the lighting is a bit crazy in here, guys. I've had to turn a lot of them off just so I can get the damage to show on the video for you all. But here are the swirls that are in the door. So this is normal marring and wash damage that I'm tackling at the moment. And using a little combination, this is what we've managed to manage and achieve. And you can just see the lovely flake pop in there. I wanted to show you my sort of work setup. What's going on here? So I have my IPA or alcohol wipe down or slow degreaser. Today I'm using Spies Hecker on this one. I have my polishing torch, which I use for inspecting and removing the polish. And then depending on the area, I have been using these three pads and polish combinations. So the normal areas are getting tackled with these combinations. One of my favorites, 2500 and the yellow rupees pad on the LHR 15. And then once that's done, we just use this for dueling it. But the super damaged areas, like around the door handle I've shown you before, been using the microfiber system. This tackles it quite well. These are still to be dubbed and stuff, guys. And then to refine that one, I'm having to step up to use um, a difference between these two. It depends how hard I had to go. So in some stages, the customer actually end up getting a three stage. Not a full three stage everywhere as such. It's just some of the areas will require you know, more than others, and some areas are one hit and it's done. It's just how this car is working out with all the different resprays and stuff. So we're just taking it as it comes and tackling the Audi. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Not what you were expecting. And it's actually about nine o'clock. As the kettle boils, I will brief you guys. So on Monday, I was vlogging for you guys, doing all right. <sighs> Wasn't 100% well. Anyway, small story short, a little Crohn's flare has hit me. I'm doing okay. I am back in work today. <sighs> Should I be? Joy's a self-employed. So to update you, Scott has been doing a hero shift on the A3 and Jamie has got all your orders and the autosave order done. So today, as you've seen at the start, we have a Hilux in for Gold Valley. And whilst the team tackle that, I am gonna go and put my headphones on and be in a meeting all day with an Audi S3. And hopefully take you guys and do some filming and time-lapsing of me doing it and hopefully keep this vlog flowing nicely. I'm not feeling 100% though, so if it just ends up being a lot of music and time-lapsing, I'm sorry. Time is quarter to 11. Your orders have been done today, thank you very much. And a massive thank you to the guys at Spotless Detailing and PTW Wrapping. You can see their YouTube channel jumping up here, guys. Bing, bing, but that is them just restocked. You can walk into their shop and get the AIM details range. Ding! And I won't go in there and record because all you can hear is the Hoover. But the Hilux is inside, dried, dressed, and the boys are just doing the interior. And with that, back to the S3. Whoa, we're not going back to it. I haven't even started on it. <laughs> to the S3.
for an update. The Hilux is complete after its gold ballot. Ooh, she looks good. I love all the little features in these new Hiluxes. The interiors are really nice too. And I think once this dries, I'll have to get the brush and the spade out. <laughs> Look at all that that was attached to that thing. Nice. Right, back to the machining. And here we are guys, it's looking really good. This is after a cutting stage with the microfiber system and I'm currently using Minzerna 400 in this, so quite a heavy cut to knock out all that body shop stuff. But I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. You can see there's just a slight haze around the lights. So this will get refined afterwards with the rupees yellow and a bit of 25. And I've just been breaking the door down in sections. So I've just done this. It's now time to get the little spot pad, work the curve, and then work this area here so that the pad isn't stalling out and I can get that connection there really nice. Past three, and the auto save order is complete. Ready to pick it up tomorrow at four o'clock. And with it being the last day of the financial year, me and Jamie are going to go to the off site storage, check the stock there so that we can get all that done for the financial planning. We're going to leave Scott coating up the wheels and waiting for the Hilux to be collected. So we'll see you guys when we come back. Good morning. It's Thursday and let me show you that rear bumper I finished last night. Would you think it's the same bumper? Whew. Actually ended up taking uh, two hits of microfiber in areas like here. Remember at the start there was all that uh, DA sanding marks. Around the normal parts of the bumpers it was pretty much okay as you see in the time lapse there's just one hit of microfiber. The this trailing edge here was really, really rough. It had DA sanding marks right up to the edge of the lip here, guys, and on that side. And I don't know if you can see on an Audi, this is beveled as well. So getting that to rotate was a bit difficult, so a bit of extension power and rotary. And then this side, again, we had all the DA sanding, but say goodbye to that. So today what's going to be happening? In the air I am going to quickly do this sill and I've got the sill to do on the other side. Double check the whole car then we'll come down and we've only got the bonnet and the roof left to do the bonnet. I'm guessing though this is going to be much like this rear bumper although with it being metal it might be more forgiving and uh, we might have to do a couple of combinations of that to bring it in with the rest of the car. Scott is refilling our front wash bay with all our bulk stuff that we've got and we're just about ready to display all this ready for auto save to come and pick it up around 11. We have a customer coming to drop off a car that has had soup spilled inside it so that will be an interesting one for all you guys to see and I have a Skype session today with a one-to-one -one client and with a business guy helping me develop um, something on YouTube that might be Nick Nimmin. If you haven't seen their channel guys then it's going to pop out here. He's like a YouTube expert showing you how to do videos and all other kind of cool YouTube related stuff. And upstairs smells incredible because Jamie has been working on this morning wheel wax and AM wax. Oh yeah. Just insane. I can remember when I was in my kitchen four county houses find a cheesy picture for you all and show you that in one of these live streams soon of me making like literally six waxes and a couple of mini pots and now Jamie's doing entire benches of waxes just to keep up the demand from you guys and our amazing distributors. That's enough of the update. Let's crack on with the car. The A1 
one is now here. Enjoy. Look who's here. Well, it looked like loads in the unit, but their van just swallowed it up. So, um, auto save, you need to order more to get a van full. Bye, auto save order. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> auto save have been. The valet is underway. Let's have a look at the bonnet. A rare treat for all you AM Details YouTube followers. William has just popped in to say hello. I think he's just had the tracking and balancing and other magical, I don't know, car related things done at GT Tires and Forest. Ding! Top job, guys. And he's on his way down to Knock Hill for the first race of the season. Good luck, Will. You can check him out on our social media feeds. And I'll link all his race stuff in the description down below. <laughs> I did that thing where I noticed the time lapse has stopped before we have. So, been down this side of the bonnet, I'm sure you can see in the time lapse there's quite a bit of work needed here, so I think it was two, three hits. And I've just been leaning over to get what we call the dead zone and make sure it's done. That is half the bonnet. If you notice, I leave myself little marks where we need to get up to so there's still obviously damage in here. But this side is looking good and we'll just be needing refined. Not bad at all. And as I continue to work on the bonnet, which is gonna be a big labor intensive job as you've seen with the respray stuff, Scott is doing the roof and also the tail end. Fingers crossed tonight, we can get some coatings on this. Time is now 10 to 10. As you can maybe hear, Scott is still machining the car and I have literally finished that bonnet. Ended up having to use wool on the DA. It was taking two hits of the microfiber system and then there was just some areas that I thought I was gonna have to break out the wet sanding but a couple of hits with wool really tied it up and I've just got that refined down. 10 to 10, I am knackered with me being ill at the start of the week so I'm gonna come in in the morning around about six. Scott is gonna do a hero shift, he may do a time lapse or two and you'll see it after this but before I come in saying good morning. See you then. Good morning. It's Friday. So what is the plan for today? Well, I'm going to have breakfast, a cup of tea. It is half past six. Open this mail left from yesterday. It was a bit chaotic yesterday. We are trying to get to a certain point with coatings. Emails, and then I'll go and see what the handover from Scott's like and crack on with the S3. But before I do all that, it is freebie Friday. So it's time for me to get that stuff sorted before diving onto the car. Good evening. It's Sunday night, guys. Let me explain. So the time is 26 past seven. Basically, this is where we're at. Current position on the S3 is everything's done apart from one area on the rear, G1 on the windows, and final wipe down some bits and pieces. 
But let me tell you why I'm chatting to you on a Sunday. Basically, I went home that Thursday night and the body said no. So on Friday and Saturday, I had the time off, which meant Scott had to hero through the enhancement plus all the usual AM details, walk-ins and sales. Jamie was doing upstairs and then he was going about half day on the Friday. So it was quite a lot for Scott to do. So I had to come in on the Sunday to catch up and get this done. The joys of being the boss. Looks good though, right? Let me take you to the rear, show you what I've got to tackle tonight, a couple of other things I got to do, and then take you through with me. So remember the bonnet guys? Yeah, the rear's the same. This is like being wet sanded or horribly, horribly machined and damaged around the number plate area. See the scratches and score in here. And the same on this side. Scott had a go with a couple of combinations but just didn't get it to come in and he hasn't used wool on the DA before. It would have been great to do some training on the bonnet and then take him on the black bonnet test bonnet we have, not the bonnet in this car. And then bring him to this car and get him trained up but just with me being ill it couldn't happen. So I had to come in on the Sunday, see if I can find a combination and get that done. Next week we have a couple of openings so we are going to be working on team training so that we can get all of us a bit more up to speed on different techniques. But waffling to you guys is not going to get this done so let's go. The wool session is complete, looking fairly good, but we're having a problem with the DA stalling in this little lip, guys. So, it's time to break out the rotary and extension bar, wool this, and hopefully, this little bad boy can refine it. We are nearly there. Final coat of G1 on the window. I am about to push the starter on the 25 minute timer. Boo! And whilst that counts down, I am gonna tidy all this up and then attempt to get some emails and Facebook messages done. Take that off, see how close it is to 10, because that is the time I would like to go home tonight. Timer has gone and I got through some of your emails. On that guys, I just wanted to say sorry. Some of them were from like Tuesday or Wednesday, but with the help, and I'm hoping that you're watching this channel, that I want to apologize for delaying getting back to you. Some of them are booking, some of them inquire about trade accounts. It's all fantastic guys. I will do my best to email you all back. Thank you so much. I will get back to you hopefully uh, Monday, Tuesday, as I have training in, but you will already have a reply by the time you've seen this, so I'm sorry that I was unwell, and thank you for bearing with me. Okay, now it's time to take this off. And we are there. G1 is done. Okay, I've still got display and wheelie stool this, but I want to get this content uploaded tonight so that we can get edit in on the vlog, as tomorrow I'll be starting next week's. So for you guys, here is the Audi S3.
If you have enjoyed this week's vlog, I know it's been a patchy one with old Fleming me being all crony and not very well. But the S3, wow, what a turnaround with the enhancement detail, guys. And with that being the end, there's just one less thing to do. And that's tell all you guys that we hope you enjoyed this vlog. I am Alan from AM Details and we do car care and detailing related videos. And if this is something you guys are interested in, then over here will be the little AM Details logo. If you click that, then you can subscribe to the channel. And over here will be two videos chosen just for you. Ciao.